January 19, Saturday of the first week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him, and he taught them. As he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. He said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord Not the righteous, but sinners. At the outset of his ministry, Jesus makes it clear that his saving mission is intended for all sinners. In fact, everyone is a sinner. In the Gospel, Mark contrasts the welcoming attitude of sinners against the Sinism of the scribes and Pharisees. The Pharisees are a group of conservative Jews who adhere strictly to the Mosaic Law and are particularly antagonistic of foreign culture and Hellenistic pagan practices, made worse by the Roman conquest. They despise anyone who collaborates with the Roman rulers, especially the tax collectors, and Levi is one of them. Jesus appears on the scene disturbing the social and political equilibrium because he preaches mercy rather than strict observance of the Mosaic Law. The salvific mission of Jesus goes beyond political freedom but is meant for total liberation from sin and restoration of man's dignity as child of God. Jesus speaks of the importance of faith over the observance of the law. In reclining at table with Levi and other tax collectors and sinners, Jesus tells the Pharisees raising objections to him, Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Here, Jesus is bent on revealing the great gift of mercy that searches out sinners and offers them pardon and salvation.